What's up guys welcome back to another video and finally I got my battery uh, charged it and I'm using my camera in this video now as you can see. Uh, today let's talk about uh, geolocation guys. In, in the, my last video was on uh, bringing leaflet maps inside your flutter apps right. Leaflet maps inside flutter apps. Wow. Uh, anyway uh, a, la a large number of people were asking me how to do a geolocation get the latitude longitude coordinates of that particular device and then move the map to that particular area so that whenever you open your application the map will always load up in the place that you are located in so uh, that's a highly essential i mean useful feature right for your application in case you decide to go with maps uh, so uh, i thought i'd rather cover that in this uh, video now today i mean i i thought i'd rather explain about that in this video so what we are going to do uh, is that we'll try to make a geolocation request and then uh, get the latitude longitude coordinates of the location of that particular device and then use that latitude and lo feed that latitude longitude coordinates to the map and move the map to that specific area. That's exactly what we are going to see in this uh, video. Let's get started. First of all, I have a blank application here. There is nothing fancy in this as you can know, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is move into pubspec.yaml and then uh, add a couple of dependencies. First I'll add the geolocation dependency and also the flutter map. This one you already know right from uh, last video. So I'll save this. Now let's get back to main.dart and then add imports. Import package geolocation. Uh, geolocation dot dot okay and uh, we also need to import flutter maps right now uh, we'll write a body app bar is already there body as usual just like what we did previously i'll uh, use that code i'll use that exact code without the marker uh, i have pasted some code here and uh, as you can see there are like uh, three new things here two new things here one is the controller that we didn't see in our previous video kindly excuse the ambient noises guys i am living in india right here there is huge water scarcity and uh, at the middle of night 3 41 am someone the corporation here decided to <laughs> uh, you know provide water so a large amount of people are scrambling around uh, trying to get as much water as possible anyway uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, there are a few interesting things here the map controller and we have a specific function called build map this function is the one that we'll be using to move the map to a specific uh, place the controller is uh, you'll see how to use this controller at a later point of time in this video uh, before that we'll go here and then create the controller map controller controller equals new map controller okay this is done now we'll go ahead and uh, create the build map before creating the build map what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, here we need to use futures guys first we need to ask for permission to use the geolocation and uh, once the permission is granted we need to perform the geolocation to get the current location and then from the result of that request we need to extract the latitude and longitude you get where i'm going with this right First, we need to ask for permission from the user to access uh, to make use of the location uh, feature in the device. Then, once the permission has been granted, you need to use. Um, I mean, you need to uh, make a request to get the current location details. From the response of that request, you need to extract latitude and longitude and then feed it inside the map, right? So, what we'll do is get into uh, Android app. Uh, source android manifest.xml inside this there is users permission android and something like that right you need to add one more permission we'll add that now cool uh, once this is done you can simply close this and uh, get over here first we'll as usual as i said uh, we'll write the code for getting permission get permission this will be a async operation async final get uh, uh, final uh, geolocation uh, result equals await 
geolocation dot uh, const location then location permission android dot find since we asked for uh, find right you i think you might remember we asked for the find permission right access find location similarly you can ask another permission for course location find location is like it will use this specific mobile device gps uh, to get the location of this device course location is like it will use the network operator the wi-fi uh, and all that to get an approximate location of that particular device so using find location always would be better uh, if the internet connection speed is good so that's what we'll be using now uh, inside main dot dot yeah fine and uh, for ios what's the error here oh sorry and uh, we need to return this result to whichever function that's going to call it so we'll write another function for get location getting location and inside this function uh, get permission get we'll return this return get permission uh, dot then result this again will be a async function since we are going to be waiting for something inside this uh, so final not final a final chords equals await dot uh, await geolocation fine right you i think <laughs> uh, you understand what i have uh, done so far right first i am bringing a map inside the body of the application guys and i am using a build map function i am calling a build map function from this body what it will do is once it gets into this function it will access this get location function this get location function in turn will access this get permission function so once the, uh, first we are asking for permission from the user to access the location of that particular a gps of this particular device once the user grants permission uh, we are simply using uh, i mean using geolocation plugin once again to get the current location of that particular device then we are returning this entire thing inside uh, to the build map function from where it was originally called right then from that response if that response is successful we are listening to that response taking the value and then we are uh, taking the latitude and longitude moving the map's position to that exact latitude and longitude based on uh, using the help of this map controller it's a simple thing right we have written simple lines of code uh, to get the location and move our map accordingly this is like a one shot thing guys it will one uh, whenever the map loads it will do it just one time now let's run this and see what happens all right here you can see that uh, the map gets loaded now in a city where uh, i live so uh, yeah guys this is how we, wait i'll just close this application and show open it once more so that you can see uh, see the app now opens right and it loads exactly where i wanted it to load 
Cool, right? So this is how you can use geolocation to get the coordinates. I, uh, if you adjust the zoom, if you adjust the zoom, the uh, map will get zoomed exactly uh, to the latitude and longitude that it received from the uh, geolocation response, guys. I'm not going to adjust the zoom here since I don't want to reveal uh, the exact location where I live uh, over the internet. Assume that it's somewhere related to all the cities shown on the screen uh, as of now. Anyway, this is <laughs> this is how you use geolocation to navigate to low, uh, move the map to wherever you want it to whenever uh, the app gets open based on the location of this particular device, guys. Uh, if you had any doubts in this, kindly drop it uh, in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me a lot. It really helps me a lot in the sense YouTube starts promoting. I mean, YouTube keeps promoting only the videos with the maximum number of likes or thumbs downs. So kindly give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this. My next video, I'll do it on Google Maps. A lot of people have been asking uh, for geolocation markers and all that and how to bring Google Maps inside your Flutter apps as well. So my next video will be based on that mostly. Uh, so yeah, subscribe guys, it's free. And I'll and check out the description as well. I provide a lot of links in the description. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.